back today with a pawn shop gun shop hunt and find video my cameraman and i are going to be heading to certain areas of north carolina and today we've picked cleveland county to hunt down and find unique and interesting firearms at pawn shops and gun shops so that's what we're going to be doing today i also have a challenge for my cameraman that i'll tell you guys about in a second but this video was sponsored by monstrum tactical with the release of their brand new 3x magnifier let's hit the road and take a look at that and see what we can't find today Here's a quick look at the brand new Monstrum Tactical 3X Ghost Flip to Side Micro Prism Magnifier. It locks up solid without the use of any buttons, so it's incredibly convenient and usable down at the range. It's got a good eye box and eye relief as well as great glass clarity, and it comes in at an affordable price point, about $119. They've created a code though specifically for my viewers, go 704 for 20% off, dropping the price down to about $96. I have a full video on this optic on my channel, so take a look at that if you want some more information all of that info codes and linking will be in the description below but the first part of this challenge is you have a hundred dollar challenge all right and a hundred dollars used to be a lot of money now it's nothing but you have to find the most creative and interesting gun or item today for a hundred dollars and then the viewers are going to judge you accordingly all right so what I can do. hey big spender let's see what <laughs> we can't come let's up see with what i'll come up with if, if it's close enough, you can add a little bit to All it. Right, so the goal is the $100. So we just pulled up to Lead Therapy, our first gun shop. This one is right off 74, and they always have a ton of new guns. We'll see if they have any used or unique guns today. Uh, let's check it out. Kathy Buchanan, owner here at Lead Therapy Gun Shop in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. I was mainly in used, uh, new firearms. We do have a few used uh, stuff that I bought from an estate sale last week, so we'll be looking at some of that stuff here in a few minutes also. And they've got an archery range back here. I got some cool old stuff. Let's see, this one right here, I've done a few more notes just to tell you. This was in service in 1887 and 1970. It was made between the years of 1887 and 1924. Uh, this right here, break that open. That goes out. Yeah, this is a nice one, a, a 1917 Eddie yep. Stone, chambered yep. in 30 odd six. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What's the story on this Mac right here? Oh, that's a Masterpiece Arms. That's a Masterpiece Arms, nine millimeter. Oh, it's a Mauser. Is yes. that a Turkish Mauser? Yes, it's yeah. a Turkish Mauser. And all the numbers match on it. And you've got all the bayonets. Mm -hmm. That is really neat. Brett is doing the $100 challenge, so he is also <laughs> looking for the, the best $100 deal. You don't have a single $100 gun here, do you? He's, that's just his challenge for the day. He's got to find the best $100 gun. Only... But like, a, just a touch over. If we have something just a touch over, I'll I'll that let that it slide. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. We call that one the Storm Trooper. A classic looking one. Right? Mm -hmm. Like the built-in carry handle. Yeah. For your side, for your... <laughs> you think we found one yet? I'm thinking I've found a lot, but they're uh, they're not in my budget for today. The Henry 3030s have not been in stock in several years. Oh wow, that is that yeah. is too much. And it's a side gate. Oh really? Mm-hmm. That Sig 22's been on the list, so that might be a contender. As you know, Ruger bought out Marlin, and they're running a couple little 4570s. Oh yeah, that's. That was called the trapper. It's so small for a four, and it's a threaded barrel. So I'm definitely eyeballing the SIG and a few other ones, but we're gonna keep on looking and see what else we can't find. But there is so many to look through right here. Uh, there was a lot of cool stuff. I also really like that 1917. We'll see about that, but it was just a little out of my budget for today, but we'll keep on looking. So we looked at a ton of guns. There's a few that are on my radar, but just not quite exactly what I was looking for. She did have some unique stuff that they were 
uh, still pricing out from that sale and I may check them out in about a week and come back. But right now we're going to another shop that I know has a ton of used guns and new guns. Uh, so we're gonna check that out. Hopefully we'll grab something there. And poor Brett did not uh, complete his $100 challenge. Yeah. <laughs> not, not yet. So we just pulled up to American Tactical and Pawn. We're gonna head inside and see what they've got. So there are so many different used guns here. A lot of cool ones. This is really striking my interest. This, it's hard to see, but it's actually the switch gun right here. I'm definitely gonna have to take a look at that one. Whole row of shotguns, some of the Turkish ones. Looks like a pump 410, some lever guns, and a ton of guns right here. Have to dig through. Brett's still looking for his $100 special. <laughs> I don't think he's found it yet. I think the days of $100 specials are long gone. We might have to convert it to knives or coins or something else. Yeah, that's too rich for my blood. <laughs> <laughs> Made up like a grand or something like that. Yeah. Deep We're also looking for Brett. I, he started He started the day and I told him he's got a $100 challenge. He's got to find the greatest thing for $100 today. You. <laughs> I said, I think there's no more $100 guns, but I was, we were making an effort to see how close we could get for the $100 challenge. I think I've been set up for failure. <laughs> oh yeah, that might be a winner right there, Brett. <laughs> Here, I'll let you check them out. Let me, let me do some looking around. Right for it. Oh, okay. That's a 20. That's yeah. the 20 gauge. What do you like better, the 20 gauge or the 410? I'd probably be a bit more partial to the 20. That might be a contender right there. The 20 <laughs> might be a little easier to come across than 410. Oh, do you mind if I see that uh, that Mauser right there? No, no. I just caught that one. We've been looking. So here is a cool, cool old piece too. It's a 1914 Mauser in 32 ACP. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I ended up buying one of these um, from an online retailer, but it was right. like their uh, their good condition model. But when I got it, it was <laughs> it was really bad. This one's in perfect shape. That might be a might be a contender right there. That's pretty cool. It was in really good shape. I, I could help you a little bit on that one from the side you want to do. Okay. Yeah, that might be a winner right there. That's it. It's got a got to hold on to it because yeah. she'll, she'll jump on you. That is so cool. She will jump on you. So that's 22 mag, right. five shots, single action only. And that's, that is so cool. And then you press that down. Now this, this might be, <laughs> this might be the one we grab. I don't know. I've been wanting something like this for a while. And then you, exactly sure how practical it is, but, but with the snake grips on and everything, she's pretty cool. <laughs> that is the craziest. <laughs> yeah, the only one I've ever seen with a safety. I'm, I need to get one of these just. Right, we're going to get the switch gun and the 20 gauge. Uh, so we're going to fill out some paperwork. So we got him heading to the range now to go do some blasting. I think he. Uh, we're going to give him a little leeway and count that as the $100 challenge winner right there. It's taxes. All right, guys, back at the range, and we've got both of the guns. We're going to open them up and do some shooting with them, and I'll definitely be doing an independent review of the standard manufacturing switch gun. I've been eyeballing it. It was the first time picking one up, and I absolutely fell in love with it. But let's open these up and start blasting. So it comes packaged really nicely and not a ton with it. Again, we'll be doing the full review on this gun, but I did want to do the first shots video and overview. So you actually slide this lever down and it springs open and locks into place. So this is all metal up top and a polymer grip, but it's a very sturdy polymer grip. You'll cock the hammer each time and then the trigger pops out down here and it's got a fairly stiff trigger pull. To load it, you actually pull this down pull the pin out like we showed you guys in the shop, but it may have been hard to see. You'll pull the hammer back and then you'll pull out your cylinder. At this point, you'll get your milk jug full of 22 bag, load them up and it holds five of these guys. And I love the fact that this is 22 mag. Is this gonna be a practical defensive gun? I don't know. We'll do a little shooting, but probably not. But this thing is definitely very, very cool. So we will load it back up in here, actually rock it in from this side. And um, 
we'll do some shooting with it, but I'm really excited about this little switch gun. That is pretty cool. So once you're done, you can actually take that pin and then punch out the shell casings and they slide right out, no issues whatsoever. It may get a little bit trickier when it gets dirty, but right now it seems to be working out really well. We'll load up five more and uh, shoot it again, but this is pretty, this is pretty awesome little switch gun. Definitely a big fan of it. So just like the NAA micro revolvers, you can actually split the difference and there's safety notches on the cylinder itself. So you'll put the safety notch underneath the hammer so that way even if you drop it, it's not hitting the primers. You'll push this lever up and then it folds and locks up into place for safe carry. That is pretty slick. Switchblade, switch gun. So this thing is absolutely awesome. It works out great, but now to, to shoot that uh, $100 challenge gun, unfortunately, uh, Brett went over by 20 bucks, but he's still happy with his purchase. Uh, so he's got a new 20 gauge to blast. Uh, let's shoot some stuff with it. So I picked up the American Tactical Imports uh, Nomad chambered in 20 gauge. It's just a little single shot break action. Pretty neat, let's see what it can do. Oh yeah! <laughs> you gotta be quicker on the draw with that. Well guys, that is it for the day. The pawn shop challenge was fun. It was exciting. Uh, I think that switch gun is freaking awesome. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Did Brett cheat? I don't think so. We kind of just uh, expanded the rules a little bit. If you want to keep seeing these types of videos, we'll go to other places like Gaston County, down in Charlotte, a few different places and try to find cool and interesting guns. Thanks for watching. And again, thanks for Monstrum Tactical for sponsoring this video. Without their support, it would not be possible. Have a good one.